around 66 million years ago in the region today called Yucatan Peninsula and the Gulf of Mexico, an asteroid which was estimated to be more than 6 miles wide struck the planet, ripping the surface of Earth and tossing debris into the air. Such devastating upheaval triggered a cascading sequence of natural disasters, sending tsunami waves rolling across the ocean and ejecting an immense amount of debris into the atmosphere. This natural disaster, called as KPG extinction, is the last of biomass extinction event that happened throughout the history of Earth. What is mass extinction? What accounts for an extinction event to be considered mass extinction? What are the causes and effects of mass extinction? Which are the five mass extinction events in the Earth's history? Are we going through the sixth mass extinction? A mass extinction is an event in Earth's history during which a significant portion of world's biodiversity is wiped out in relatively short period of time. It is characterized by the extinction of a large number of species in a geologically short period as opposed to the background rate of extinction. Typically, a mass extinction event results in the loss of at least 75% of species across the globe, occurring over a relatively short geological time scale. These events are generally recognized by scientists through the analysis of fossil records, which reveal sharp decrease in biodiversity. Mass extinctions have played a significant role in shaping Earth's biodiversity and have had profound impact on the evolutionary history of life on our planet. Understanding these events is crucial for understanding the dynamics of our planet and predicting and preventing future extinction. Extinctions are caused by several factors that include geological, environmental and biological. When these factors occur at a large scale with high impact, these would cause mass extinction. Some of the major causes that resulted in Earth's past mass extinction include factors such as asteroid or comet impact, volcanic activity, climate change, ocean anoxia, sea level changes and continental drift. Impact from large asteroids or comets can release vast amount of energy causing rapid changes in the climate and leading to the extinction of many species. Volcanic activities such as one occurred during the Permian period in the Siberian traps can release large amount of lava, ash and gases such as carbon dioxide and sulfur dioxide causing climate change, acid rain and ocean acidification. Natural climate changes or fluctuations in temperature and sea level such as those associated with ice ages or periods of intense global warming can lead to the loss of habitat and mass extinction. A depletion of oxygen in the ocean of 10 caused by sudden increase in global temperature can lead to mass extinction of marine species. A rapid cooling or warming of planet can cause the collapse of ecosystems and result in mass extinction. Also, events such as sudden release of greenhouse gases which can lead to the rapid and extreme climate change and rapid changes in sea level which create loss of habitat also acts as drivers of mass extinction. Mass extinction result in wiping out large percentage of species leading to the loss of biodiversity. Each and every ecosystem stands on balance by the acts of key species like this for example. Extinction of key species could create imbalance in ecosystem that would result in the ecosystem collapse affecting other species that depended on them. Following a mass extinction, recovery can take millions of years with new species evolving to fill the niches left vacant by the extinct species. Earth till date has seen five major mass extinction events that have shifted balance in ecosystem and also created new species which occupy vacant niches. The five mass extinction include Ordovician Silurian extinction, Late Devonian extinction, End Permian extinction, Triassic Jurassic extinction, and Cretaceous Paleogene extinction, famously known as KPG extinction. Ordovician Silurian extinction occurred approximately 445 million years ago. Scientists estimate that about 85% of marine species went extinct, making it the second largest mass extinction in Earth's history. Shallow marine invertebrates such as brachiopods, rhinoids, and trilobites were most affected with a group of colonial animals 
called Raptolite nearly went extinct. This event was likely the result of a series of glaciation that caused sea level to fall, reducing shallow water habitat. Change in ocean chemistry and increased volcanic activity could also have influenced this event. Occurring approximately 372 to 359 million years ago, late Devonian extinction is proposed to have range of causes that include climate change, sea level fluctuations, anoxic event, oceanic regression and meteorite impact. This event significantly affected marine life with about 75% of species going extinct. Marine organisms like brachiopods, trilobites and reef building organisms like corals were severely affected. Marine life forms such as placoderms, which are armored fishes group that grew up to 10 meters in length and dominated Devonian seas went extinct. Some studies suggest that multiple extinction events occurred during the late Devonian period, possibly spanning several million years. Famously known as the Great Diamond, the cause of Permian-Triassic extinction event is not fully understood, but it is believed to have been triggered by combination of volcanic eruptions asteroid impact and climate change. The event might have been initiated by the eruptions of Siberian traps, one of the largest non-volcanic activities in Earth's history, which released massive amounts of lava and greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. This led to a series of devastating consequences, including global warming, ocean acidification, and severe reduction in oxygen levels in the ocean. The Permian-Triassic extinction was the most severe extinction event in Earth's history, which led to the loss of about 96% of marine species, including trilobites, ammonites, and brachiopods, and 70% of terrestrial vertebrate species, including dominant groups such as synapsids, including the large herbivoran and carnivoran mammal-like animals or mammaliophiles. This extinction event profoundly changed the course of evolution, allowing the dinosaurs and mammals to become the dominant land animals in the Mesozoic and Cenozoic eras, respectively. The boundary between the Permian and Triassic period is marked by the distinct layer of sediment that contain elevated levels of iridium, suggesting that an asteroid or a comet impact may have contributed. The event also caused significant changes in terrestrial environments including deforestation, soil degradation, which contributed to the extinction. The Triassic-Jurassic extinction event occurred around 201 million years ago, marking the boundary between Triassic and Jurassic periods. It is said that this event was likely the result of volcanic activity, climate change, ocean anoxia, and others. Enormous volcanic eruption in the central Atlantic magmatic province during the Triassic are thought to have played a significant role. The vast amount of volcanic gases released during these eruptions led to climate changes such as rising global temperature, acid rain, and ocean acidification. The resulting climate change, including increased aridity and fluctuating sea levels, severely impacted life on Earth. The volcanic activity might have led to a dramatic reduction in oxygen and oxygen level due to an increase in carbon dioxide leading to the widespread oxygen depletion in marine environment. This event led to extinction of 22% of marine species and 53% of marine genera. Corals, bivalves, ammonites and reptiles such as Ichthyosaurus and Placodonts were severely affected. On land, many large amphibians and early dinosaur groups went extinct, which opened door enabling dinosaurs to rule in a study in 2020, led by Dr. Manfredo Capriolo from the University of Padova, proposed that the eruptions of Central Atlantic Magmatic Province was the main cause of Triassic-Jurassic mass extinction, significantly contributing to the transformation of Earth's atmosphere, climate, and oceanic conditions. This new research provides a clearer understanding of the causes and effects of Triassic-Jurassic mass extinction and its importance for the subsequent evolution of life on The Cretaceous Paleogene Extinction or KPG Extinction event occurred approximately 66 million years ago. This event has said to be caused by an asteroid impact in Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico, which created a crater 180 km in diameter. This impact released an immense amount of energy causing shock waves, global wildfires, a mega tsunami, 
ejecta that created a layer of debris globally and an impact winter due to the dust and debris blocking out sunlight. The Deccan Traps volcanic eruptions in India that occurred over several thousand years might also play a role. The most notable effect was the extinction of non-avian dinosaurs. It is estimated that about 75% of all species, including dominant dinosaurs, marine reptiles like Ichthyosaurus, Mosasaurus, Plesiosaurus, and Ammonites, plant species, and some groups of mammals, birds, and insects went extinct. The collapse of food chain and ecosystem restructuring allowed the mammals and birds to rapidly diversify and become the dominant land animals. The impact resulted in widespread wildfires, which released large amounts of soot and carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, leading to significant cooling. The blocking of sunlight by the debris ejected into the atmosphere caused a period of darkness, preventing photosynthesis and leading to collapse of ecosystem. Acid rain due to the impact of asteroid added to the destruction of marine life. The acidification of oceans caused sulfur and nitrogen oxides released during the impact led to the collapse of marine ecosystems with significant losses among marine organisms like plankton, mollusks and corals. One of the major questions a person has while studying about mass extinction is that why should we study it? What is the importance of studying mass extinction? Understanding the process and causes or effects has a profound impact on our day-to-day -day life. There are several advantages of understanding mass extinction events like they help us understand the earth history, identifying patterns, biodiversity conservation, climate change and many more. Mass extinctions are critical events in earth history, shaping the diversity of life and deployment of ecosystems. By studying past extinctions, scientists can better understand the history and evolution of life on Earth. By examining the causes and effects of past mass extinctions, scientists can identify patterns that help predict future extinction events and understand how ecosystems respond to environmental changes. Understanding significant ecological distributions, altering of compositions and functioning of ecosystems during mass extinctions can help anticipate and mitigate the consequences of future extinction events. Knowledge gained from studying past extinctions can inform biodiversity conservation efforts, helping to protect and preserve vulnerable species and ecosystems. Mass extinctions are often linked to major climatic shift. Studying past mass extinctions can provide insights into the effects of climate change on ecosystems, helping to mitigate the impacts of current and future climate change. Understanding the cause and effects of mass extinctions can inform resource management strategies such as land use planning, conservation efforts, and sustainable management of natural resources. Studying mass extinctions on Earth can provide insights into the potential for life on other planets and help scientists identify signs of past extinctions in extraterrestrial environments. Mass extinctions are pivotal events in Earth's history, marking the period of dramatic and widespread loss of biodiversity. They have shaped the course of evolution, leading to the rise and fall of various species and ecosystems. Earth has witnessed five mass extinction events till now. While natural phenomena such as asteroid impact and volcanic eruptions have triggered past extinction, human activity now play a significant role in driving ongoing extinction crises. Many scientists argue that we are currently experiencing the Earth's sixth mass extinction event, often referred to as Holocene extinction or Anthropocene extinction. Human activities such as habitat destruction, pollution, overexploitation of resources, and climate change are said to be the main drivers of the event. Robert Covey, a research professor at the UH Manoa Pacific Biosciences Research Center in School of Ocean and Earth Sciences and Technology, believe that there is a drastic increase in rate of species extinction and declining abundance of many animal and plant populations are well documented. Yet, some deny that these phenomena amount to mass extinction. This denial is based on view of crisis which focuses on mammals and birds and ignores invertebrates which of course constitute great majority of biodiversity. By extrapolating from estimates obtained for land snails and slugs, Covey and co-authors estimated that since the year 1500, Earth could have already have lost between 7.5 and 13% of 2 million known species on Earth. 
a staggering 150,000 to 260,000 species. Paleobiologist Anthony Bosnowski of University of California, Berkeley, estimates that in past 500 years, a minimum of 80 to 5,570 species of mammals have gone extinct. Bernowski and colleagues first calculated the rate at which mammals, which are well represented in fossil record, died off in past 65 million years, finding an average extinction rate of less than 2 species per million years. Extinction rate in past 500 years is above documented rate of past mass extinction. All of this means that we are beginning the mass extinction that will play out over hundreds of or thousands of years, says Bernowski and his team. He predicts that by 334 years from now, about 75% of all mammal species which are currently endangered or threatened will be gone. Understanding the causes and consequences of mass extinction is crucial for conservation efforts and mitigating impact of environmental changes. Studying past mass extinction provides valuable insights into the factors that drive ecological changes and resilience of life on Earth. Understanding these patterns can inform conservation efforts, climate change mitigation strategies, and sustainable resource management practices to safeguard biodiversity and ecosystem health in face of ongoing environmental change.